Why don't they play hide and seek in Raleigh? Because wants to hide when the city is this much fun. Starting off our countdown at number 10, we have the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. Now, who said learning can't be fun? This museum is an absolute treasure trove of knowledge, brimming with vibrant exhibits that'll make your inner science geek jump with joy. From the mysteries of the cosmos to the wonders of the animal kingdom, the museum offers a comprehensive exploration of our natural world. And the best part? It's not just about looking at exhibits. The museum encourages hands-on learning, giving you the chance to roll up your sleeves and dive right into the action. There's the Living Conservatory, a tropical dry forest filled with live animals and plants, and the Nature Research Center where you can watch scientists at work. So, if you're in Raleigh and you've got a curious mind, the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences is your playground. At number 9, we're taking a stroll in the lovely Pullen Park, because who doesn't love a good picnic? Picture this, folks. A serene oasis, right in the heart of Raleigh, Pullen Park is the perfect blend of natural beauty, history, and good old family fun. Established in the late 19th century, the park's roots run deep. It's the first public park in North Carolina and the fifth oldest operating amusement park in the U.S. Now that's a legacy. But Pullen Park isn't just about the past. It's also about the present. With a delightful carousel that's over a century old, a miniature train chugging around the park and pedal boats gliding on the lake, it's a place where memories are made. And for those who prefer a slower pace, there's always a quiet spot under a tree for a picnic. So grab your basket and blanket. With a little bit of everything for everyone, Pullen Park is a breath of fresh air. Coming in at number 8, we're getting artsy at the North Carolina Museum of Art. This museum is a treasure trove of creativity and history, boasting an impressive collection that spans thousands of years and a multitude of cultures. From ancient Egyptian artifacts to contemporary installations, there's something here to captivate every art enthusiast. The museum's significance extends beyond its vast collection. It's also a vibrant cultural hub, hosting a variety of events and educational programs that spark dialogue and inspire creativity. Whether you're an art history buff, a budding artist, or simply someone who appreciates beauty, you'll find something to love here. And let's not forget about the Museum Park. With over 164 acres of landscapes and monumental works of art, it's the perfect place for a leisurely stroll or a picnic. So, for a perfect blend of culture, history, and art, the North Carolina Museum of Art is a must-visit. At number 7, we're grabbing a pint at the Raleigh Beer Garden because nothing says vacation like a good brew. Now, the Raleigh Beer Garden isn't your ordinary watering hole. It's a beer lover's paradise, boasting the world's largest selection of draft beers. That's right, we're talking over 360 different brews on tap. From classic ales to exotic stouts, there's a pint for every palate. The atmosphere? It's as vibrant as the beer menu. The garden is a bustling hive of activity, with jovial conversations, clinking glasses, and the occasional cheer from a sports game on the screens. It's an instant mood lifter. But the Raleigh Beer Garden isn't just about the beer, it's also about the people, the camaraderie, the shared love for a good brew. It's a hot spot for tourists, a place where you can swap travel tales over a cold one. So if you're a beer enthusiast or just looking to unwind, the Raleigh Beer Garden is the place to be. We're halfway through our countdown, and at number six, we're stepping back in time at the historic Yates Mill County Park. This park is home to Yates Mill, a fully restored circa 1756 grist mill, standing as a testament to the rich agricultural history of Raleigh. The mill operated for nearly two centuries, grinding corn and wheat for the local community. Now, as the centerpiece of a picturesque park, it offers visitors a unique window into the past. The park itself is a haven of natural beauty spanning over 500 acres of fields, forests, and wildlife habitats. And for the history buffs out there, this park is a treasure trove. It's not just the mill, but also the interactive exhibits at the A.E. Finley Center that narrate the story of the mill's past, making history come alive. For a slice of history amidst nature, the historic Yates Mill County Park is a must-visit. At number 5, we're catching a game at the PNC Arena, because nothing beats the thrill of a live match. Here's where the magic of sports comes alive, right in the heart of Raleigh. PNC Arena is the proud home to the Carolina Hurricanes of the National Hockey League and the NC State Wolfpack men's basketball team. And let's not forget the exhilarating concerts and high-energy performances that light up the venue throughout the year. 
Oh, the atmosphere, it's an electrifying mix of cheers, high spirits, and the camaraderie of sports fans. Whether it's the thunderous applause following a slam dunk or the collective gasp as a hockey puck darts towards the goal, there's an undeniable energy that ripples through the crowd. The arena itself is a marvel, boasting modern facilities and a capacity to hold over 19,000 enthusiastic spectators. So, if you're a sports enthusiast or just love a good game, the PNC Arena is where you want to be. Coming in at number four, we're getting a taste of politics at the North Carolina State Capitol. Constructed back in the 19th century, this grand building is a treasured piece of Raleigh's rich history. Its Greek Revival architecture is a sight to behold, with towering columns and intricate detailing that transport you back in time. With its storied past, the State Capitol has seen North Carolina's political landscape evolve over the years. It was once the hub of the state's government, and today, it hosts the offices of the governor and lieutenant governor. But it's not just about politics. The state capitol is also a museum, offering a glimpse into the state's past with exhibits charting the history of North Carolina. A stroll around the capitol grounds is also a must, with lush green spaces and impressive statues adding to the charm of this historic landmark. For a dose of history and politics, the North Carolina state capitol is definitely worth your time. At number three, we're smelling the roses at the Raleigh Little Theater Rose Garden. This place isn't just a garden, it's a living, breathing, fragrant piece of Raleigh's history. Established in the early 20th century, this garden has been a sanctuary for flower lovers, artists, and anyone seeking a peaceful retreat. With over 60 rose beds and a multitude of different species, the garden's beauty is undeniable. It's like walking into a Monet painting, minus the French accent. Each rose meticulously cared for is a testament to the dedication of the volunteers who maintain this floral paradise. The garden is also home to the Raleigh Little Theater, one of the oldest community theaters in the nation. So why not combine the serenity of the rose garden with a little culture? A play, a picnic, and a plethora of roses. What could be better? For a tranquil escape from the city, the Raleigh Little Theater Rose Garden is a must visit. We're nearing the end of our countdown, and at number two, we're shopping local at the North Carolina State Farmer's Market. A bustling hub of activity, this place is a foodie's dream come true. From farm fresh fruits and vegetables to aromatic baked goods to handcrafted cheeses and wines, the market brims with a colorful array of delightful treats. But it's not just about the food. The North Carolina State Farmer's Market is a vibrant community space where folks come together to celebrate the state's rich agricultural heritage. You'll find artisans selling handmade crafts, live music performances on weekends, and even cooking demonstrations by local chefs. What makes this market truly special is its commitment to supporting local farmers and producers. Every purchase you make here not only delights your taste buds, but also contributes to the local economy. For a taste of local produce and a chance to support local businesses, be sure to visit the North Carolina State Farmers Market. And finally, at number one, we're embracing our inner child at the Marbles Kids Museum. This isn't just any regular museum, this is a playground for the mind, an adventure for the imagination, and a launch pad for dreams. With exhibits that span across art, science, and culture, the Marbles Kids Museum is a wonderland of exploration. Now don't let the kids in its name fool you, this place isn't just for the wee ones. It's designed to inspire creativity, curiosity, and joy in people of all ages. Whether you're a parent, grandparent, or just a big kid at heart, you're sure to find something that tickles your fancy. From the hands-on exhibits to the fun-filled play zones, this museum is all about learning through play. It's a place where kids can be kids and adults can be, well, kids again. For a place that guarantees fun for all ages, the Marbles Kids Museum tops our list. And that's a wrap on the top 10 things to do in Raleigh, North Carolina. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting countdowns.